Alright, this is a video on how to remove ads in Cydia with the newest Cydia for the jailbreak on A5 devices, iPhone 4, iPod, iPad, whatever, what have you. So now if we go down, we'll go down, we'll just do like this one as an example. So when you go down, a lot of times there's ads in here. Um, let's see if we can get another one to show an ad here. Yeah, like this, the ad, okay. So the first thing you're going to want to do in Cydia here is you're going to want to install SB settings, which a lot of people already have. I already have it. So we're going to stop this thing from reloading. And then you're going to want to get iFile. So if you go over here to search, just type in here iFile. Okay, there it is. I've paid for it. Oops. Okay, pay for it. It works way better. Okay, when you're done with all that, then you're going to get the iAd Killer, which is a dev file. So, over to my computer here. I'm going to open up this. So now, we'll go here, go to our website here. If you read right there, there's the website. So if you go down, there's a post right here. Here's the link right here for the iAd killer that you're going to get. Okay, so once you've downloaded this, you'll go onto your computer. I use iFunbox. You're going to SSH this in. So anywhere in here, I don't do the temporary folder. So I'm just going to drag iAdKiller Deb. Let's drag it over. Pop it in there. Show you that it's in there. Okay, it's in there. So now we're going to go back to the device. We'll go over to iFile. So now we're searching for it, okay? So let's go all the way back. If you look right there, there's the dev file right there. So we're going to click on this, and we're going to install this. Now you'll get code zero when it's finished, so you're done, okay? So now what you're going to do is you're going to go over back into Cydia <clears throat> now you're gonna add a source in here so when Cydia finally loads okay cancel that out okay you're gonna go over down to manage sources and you're gonna add this source right here okay that source right there, what you'll do is you'll click edit and add, I'll pop that up, just type it in, go to the website that I showed you before, www.iptt124techtalk.com, and that'll have the whole post there. Then you'll enter in that. Now, once you have the source in there, you'll go into here, you'll go down to the letter S. So let's go to S. Now you're going to see the SB add toggle. Okay, so you're going to install that, confirm it, let it do its whole deal. Then restart Springboard. So now what we are going to do is now in your SB settings here, you will see right there, there's an add block toggle. So we'll turn it on. Now there's been some issues here. So now if you get out of SB settings and you go back in, it shut off. So the easiest way to do this, taking power off your device. So my device is off, 
There's it on the computer. Nothing showing up. Knife unbox. So let's go back to it. We'll turn it back on here. Once my phone reboots here, and the post on the website will tell you that if you are having issues, sometimes it stays on, sometimes it doesn't. If it does not, just reboot your phone, it'll be fine. Okay, and this is the Legacy Beta Theme by Kanetsuo. So, now once that's all good to go, then what you're going to do is you're going to go back into SB Settings. See now the Ad Block is on. So now let's go into Cydia. I'll just show you here also that I'm running the newest one, the 114. Let's get back out of that. Back out of that, go into Changes. Let it finish doing whatever it's doing. Somebody just tweeted at me. So now if you look, this is on my uh, iPhone 4. But on the 4S it works exactly the same. I've tested it. Everything works exactly the same. Do the same exact steps as you're doing here. So now let's cancel that out. Let's just go back up to the top. Let's go into changes here. Just go down and we'll do the we'll just do this one. I don't even know what this is. But now if you look, <clears throat> there's no more ads. So if we go to the this one, there's what you night which is nice is you can still see the screenshots. That's easy for you to envy by June's iPhone. Awesome theme as well. But yeah. No more ads whatsoever. Works 100%. Works on iPhone 4, iPad, iPod Touch, iPhone 4S, iPad 2. I've tested on every single one of my every single one of my iDevices. So I was gonna say vehicles. Oops. <laughs> I don't know why, but it is working 100%. And yeah, took a while for me to figure all this out, but it does work. So give it a shot for yourself and. Yeah, no more ads in Cydia, because I don't know about you guys, but I hate seeing ads in Cydia. It slows it down. It's annoying. Sometimes you're trying to scroll down. You're trying to see what exactly you're looking at <clears throat> as a screenshot. And next thing you know is, oh, you're in an ad. Then you got to close out of Cydia. Then you got to go back into it. It just takes time, and you're just like, I don't want to deal with it. Yada, yada, so on and so on. So, yep, this is a little video on how to remove the ads in Cydia, and hope you guys like it. Uh, give it a thumbs up, and we'll catch you guys on the next video.